Hello. Okay, so I suppose where do we start, eh? So today we're gonna to be working on some database design stuff, thinking about how we're gonna, when people actually search on my app Interlude, you know, where do we save it? How do we save it? And then how do we query that data back in a, in a nice way? Pretty simple stuff. But that's what I'm gonna be looking at this afternoon. Before that, I'm gonna run. So let's, let's go. I think that's the, that's the plan. Just really quickly, I don't think I explained very well what actually Interlude is, or the app I'm working on. If you're a regular watcher of this series, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, um, watch this. If you have, know what I'm talking about, skip it. So Interlude is basically an app which lets salespeople search for companies' information in a really quick and convenient manner compared to other products and services out there provided by the government, and there are some other alternatives. That's the basic idea. You'll see more of how the product works later in the video, but that's kind of the premise. So hey, trying to just make it more convenient for people. This series is about kind of following my journey as a freelance software engineer, freelancing, and also building out this tool and getting that working. So yeah, I'm looking at history and saved items today with database design, but we'll get onto that later. It's time for a run now. I hope. I hope that made sense. If it doesn't, then just enjoy the better vid the video, I suppose. Let's go, go on. I must say, it does, I do find it very helpful going for a run in the middle of the day or the beginning of the day. It just lets me get out of the house, you know, move my body. If I don't do it, I feel myself getting very sloggy in the afternoon and not being able to concentrate. So, I do make an effort to try and get out and run a walk or just something. Staying motivated, being able to work there and sit there and focus. And I think getting out and running really helps. Or walking or just outside in general. Even when the weather sucks. Actually, I'd say it's even better when the weather sucks because you appreciate being sat inside. But um, yeah. yeah, so it's just time to keep running. Alright, so good run, now it's time to do some focus work. I mentioned I'm going to be looking at that database design stuff. It's pretty simple, it's not going to be that complicated. I'm just going to spend some time now kind of just looking into it, reading about it, planning it, coding it, and then I'll fill you in how I get on. But the basic basis, the basic premise of what I want to get done today is essentially, well there's kind of two things going on. The first thing is obviously we're creating companies house a lot and we're not always collecting that data. And there's been a few comments from you guys in the comment section below about how the results are quite slow. Um, so I've had the idea where we're basically going to save every single response we get. And then if a, obviously we, so we, we save every response and that then essentially means what we can do where there is information which we know is going to be called from the API, we can kind of fill it in and make it really fast. And obviously there'll still be like a backend query. So if anything's needs to be updated, because obviously this data is live and that's what the value is, it will then kind of, kind of stream in after. So that's kind of like a longer play idea, but just be basically enabling us to do that. Making sure when that first user uses the product, we're like kind of saving everything in line with it. So that's planned for this afternoon. Got a few hours of nice focus work to crack on with it. And that's going to be pretty much it. So I will fill you in how I get on. Very exciting, I know. Okay, now let's get to the nitty gritty part of this video where we talk through what I've actually got done today. <laughs> okay, so I think actually before I kind of delve into those pieces, I've got three shameless plugs, which I think are worth mentioning. So the first is my newsletter. Um, I haven't really pushed this too much in the last episode, but please do subscribe if you're interested in kind of getting access to a monthly newsletter from me. It's gonna include some general learnings, you know, get all the development detail, see actual customer feedback with Interlude, access some product demo recordings, which I'll film. 
uh, and then also get some monthly recurring revenue details. If you're interested in any of that stuff, put the top link in the description. Please do click that and subscribe if that is of interest to you. The second thing is Design Tide. I know I mentioned it in my last video. So this is my design subscription agency. I have literally just launched it a few weeks ago. Obviously, I've been freelancing for like quite a while now. Um, this is a new type of arena or area I'm working in. If you know someone or you think someone you might be interested in this, please do take a look. Even if you give some feedback, I really appreciate it. But it is mainly for startup founders. It is quite an expensive service. But again, just wanted to let you guys that it exists and it's out there. And it's also the link will be in the description. Okay, final plug, Twitter. I'm posting a lot on here now. Please do if you are active on Twitter click and follow me. I'm doing a bunch. I'm doing this essentially a roasting series where I am roasting landing pages. And that comes to my next question. If you have a landing page or you've maybe built a product and you've got a landing page that you think want me to roast, let me know and I will roast it on Twitter. It's a series I'm doing of, of a way of marketing um, Design Tide. And that's, I suppose, something you might be, that's something that you might find interesting. Plugs over. Let's get into the demo of what I've actually got done today. So if I just jumped into Lou now. So one thing I hadn't done before was auth. It seems really silly, but it wasn't, it didn't exist. So if I refresh, you can see it fetches my username or my email. If I go to just like the normal slash, it will redirect me back to the search page. So that's quite nice. So if you were to revisit and your cookie's still there or your session's still in play, you get redirected back. It's simple again with like logging out, let's log out been logged out probably don't need the hand symbol there <laughs> but I kind of got carried away with emojis and then logging back in so all of that seems to be working really nicely in terms of searching uh, pretty simple again I apologize if you haven't actually seen the product yet if I just open up company's house quickly again I, I'm sorry if you've seen this before but I'm just gonna do it very quickly for the people that haven't haven't seen it this is the government's website where you can search for company information they have an API which wrapping over pretty basic so if I search for blue me media, sorry, blue media, hit search, you get the results, you click that, you go into one, filing history, it takes a little bit of people, it's a bit annoying. If I wanna go back, then I've gotta go back and back and back to try and get to another company, I've clicked the wrong one. Basically, lots of salespeople use this um, in their day-to-day -day lives when they are trying to research a prospect or about to jump on the call or on the call to figure out some information. Interlude is the app which lets you kind of do that really quickly. So if I hit blue media, um, refresh, and again, I know that's taking a while, we've talked about it, working way of improving it, and you hit overview and it all kind of pings in quite quickly. Yeah, it's pretty simple and you can go through accounts, people. If you want to see a more in-depth demo of the comparison, please check my last video, it'll be linked in the description. I'm not going to do that for the sake of people that already know. Okay, so that's pretty much the tool um, and auth. So one thing we mentioned that I've looked at was the database stuff and having history. So if I now go to history, you should see, see here, everything that's been going on. Now, it's pretty simple. You can just go back like that, 25 at the time, number of results. I know I can improve this. It's, it's the first version. We're just tracking what the user does and it's quite neat. At the moment, you can see this, like you can see what's been clicked. So you know if we go to a search and I go to like Blue Media, Again, you've got overview filings, people, whatever. When a user clicks that, we, we track what type they've selected. Uh, and the idea here is when they hit go, it will just open up a modal displaying that result with that section open. So at the moment, if I go back to Blue Media and search, there's a focus tab now. So if I click that, it opens up the result in focus or in a modal, which means the user can kind of actually just focus on this one result. So this would essentially be in that history section, allowing them to really quickly jump in, jump in and out of different results. Pretty simple stuff. You can see how it's all related from the same component. So you can see how it's happening in the background here. If I jump out, it's still here. Focus is still here. What's quite nice is it like kind of layers the modal, so you can jump into a document and see that there. But yeah, let's just get into how the database, how this works on the back end. So it's pretty simple. We've got a user model here, and then this is the searches, uh, search model. Um, so essentially, whenever a search is is called, we get the user ID, throw it in there, so we can know who's searching what and then the term of the search, the title, depending on the type, it kind of makes sense for me. You don't need to know for now. And then the key thing we spoke about was the result. And essentially what we're doing is just throwing it in as an object for now. I've actually just had the idea before recording this where we're essentially gonna, every company will kind of have its own 
place on the database and we'll just constantly keep updating it. So in the long run, you essentially kind of scrape company's house with all of the scrape, yeah, scrape all of the information of company's house. We obviously won't always be up to date, but it will kind of be a very good level, meaning you can kind of, you can just improve the way searching works and make it faster and then date and then type of search. So it's pretty simple stuff. I mean, it didn't take too much to think about. Yeah, so I suppose what's next? If we go to the Notion, I had a, I've had a few ideas and points which I have, have, have actually added to this Notion page, but it's all pretty simple. So direct match, I think if you search company name and the direct match comes up and these goes to the top, pretty simple. Search for history, so being able to like have a search bar up here, search box up here, just being able to search. Display address and autocomplete search, that was a a point from you guys, remove upgrade. It's gonna be a paid with a, a 14 day money back guarantee, I think. We'll see. Um, add the modal, obviously. To the, so you know how I mentioned the pop-up, that occurring here on this go section. And I suppose one point would be where it's like a generic search. If they were to hit go, I think new tab, show those search results which came up when that person searched that query. Keep going. So one thing which we, which I built, which is quite a good, or kind of the key feature for this first version is the accounting periods section, which is this one. So if I go to periods, you can see that, but you can see they're, in, they're incorporated in 2018, so that's fine. You get all of their periods, but for example, if they're incorporated in 2021 or 2022, these two periods shouldn't be displayed there. And also if they're accounting period date, basically there's some more technical stuff that needs to come into this account, this period section before we go live. And that's included in this, this evolves this document. Display the company website from Google search Fevercon, saved list, launch page, la landing page and launch. Yeah, so that pretty much covers it. I think, again, I'd love to hear any feedback or thoughts you guys have about this product. And it's pretty basic still. There's still a lot to do, but yeah, if you've just got any feedback, I'd love to hear it um, in the comment section below. So please let me know. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video. This has been a bit different compared to my last few videos. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. That pretty much covers it for me today. And um, I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks. Thank you.